Lisa. Darren, experienced our peak on Saturday, January 15th, according to Hartford HealthCare leaders who watch many indicators statewide and in their system. This doesn't mean a quick drop in numbers will happen, but it has been a large and painful corner to turn. I think the numbers, we, we certainly have uh, passed our peak, and I think our predictions around this time uh, really kind of held true. Hartford HealthCare Chief Epidemiologist uh, and System Director of Infectious to Diseases, Dr. Ulysses Wu, says he does not think we will see another peak from flu and COVID at once, a so-called flu rona. We have seen the rate of increase of influenza cases actually start to decrease. Uh, we have hospitalizations are down to three across the state. Uh, none in the ICU, none on the ventilator. Dr. Wu does believe that Omicron cases will stay high in a sawtooth pattern of smaller ups and downs. He does not know if we will see another COVID surge. Dr. Wu says the question is whether we will see new variants that could become more infectious but less dangerous. We may see an increase in cases if that's what we're defining as a surge. But we're hoping that it doesn't result in an increase in hospitalizations, ventilators, and ICU stays. And on the global radar, Hong Kong plans to kill about 2,000 small animals like hamsters after some tested positive at a pet store and then an employee. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says animals do not appear to play a significant role in spreading the coronavirus, but Hong Kong authorities say they are not ruling out transmission between animals and humans. And Dr. Wu has guidelines for people who have COVID and are not boosted. He says once symptoms lift and you get to the 10-day point, you should get a booster then. He says it's still unknown how long the reinfection period lasts with Delta and Omicron. Lisa Carber, 